We're seeing the rise of smart cars for a while now, such as different fueling methods, to different parking methods, to hell, being able to drive themselves around. But there's one catch. All of them are so damn expensive. But either way, it's no surprise that we're getting these cars with Back to the Future-like features for a while now. But we can still do the next best thing by using a cheap adapter and being able to do some of those cool futuristic things using a smartphone. So for all of you interested in getting those neat features in that cheap Honda Accord you drive around, then keep watching my friend because it's the future, baby. Slightly. Ah, you know what I mean. <laughs> The port I was referring to earlier is known as an OBD port, which are primarily used to check engine diagnostics by mechanics to see if there are any problems with a vehicle. But from the beginning of the 1990s, all cars in the US were required to have these ports. And thanks to the rise of smartphones and Bluetooth, cheap adapters became available for anyone to check their vehicle for any alerts and what type of problems they might have. But since we are technically connecting to our engine's computer, we can be able to check and monitor more than just problems that would come along. Today we'll be looking into that and what we can do with this cheap $20 adapter and some intuitive thinking. The adapter that we are going to use is known as a BAFX scan tool since it's inexpensive and fits well with my current phone. Of course, if you have an iOS device instead, I also recommend the Cobra Scanner as it works with both devices and connects to Wi-Fi. But what these devices have in common is Bluetooth support, so we can be able to connect these adapters to our phones. There are other options you can buy, such as Automatic Pro, which is a lot more expensive and has 3G support for that constant connection to the internet. Also, crash detection as well. This also includes being able to connect to the adapter while the phone is away from a certain distance. But since this channel is going for the cheap skate in all of us, we are going with the less expensive option. The only thing that is important is that your phone's compatible with the adapter you buy. All you have to do is follow the instructions that come with your adapter and use your Bluetooth on your phone to connect to the adapter. Each adapter will always have a different set of instructions for you to follow, but as long as you do it step by step, all that matters is as long as it's connected that you'll be able to drive with it on no matter what. So this tutorial isn't going to be about how to do a specific thing, but rather a variety of things that you can do with this adapter. Depending on what you get, there are several things you can accomplish other than checking what your engine light means. For instance, me personally, I use the app called Dash. This directly connects to your adapter and shows many things, such as how many miles that you did, the miles per gallon you went on during said trip, and the location of where you parked, since this is also connected to your phone's GPS. It also shows detailed driving information as well as engine problems that could occur when driving with the engine code listed there. Keep in mind that if you restart your phone or shut it down for any reason that you may have to open your Dash app again to be able to connect. But with Dash, we can see a lot of these features that this app has to help set up a profile of how your car runs and how much gas and distance is covered whenever you go out. But this isn't the only thing we can use this app for as with some creativity, we can also use our car to activate certain things or actions depending on a certain set of conditions that are met. Meet the website ifttt.com, a site dedicated to the phrase, if this, then that. Or in other words, an automation site for a web service where if one thing is triggered, then the other will go off automatically. All you have to do is make an account to get started by connecting what accounts you already have. In this URL here, we can see the applets that we can use to connect to Dash to other web services to make interesting combinations such as these ones that Dash made to get started, like tracking your trips on Google Spreadsheets, receiving email, showing what your car is experiencing, etc. Of course, you can also make your own using these services that you connected, ranging from Facebook or texting. For example, me personally again, I sometimes get home late at night and it can get dark through the door I use. So I have a smart plug lying around and whenever I get close to home at a certain location, the plug will activate turning on the light. These are some of the many different recipes that you can come up with when using your old car as another step forward to make your life easier. Thanks for watching! Check out these other videos while you have the chance. If you want more car related tips, make sure you subscribe. Hey, wanna be on camera? Wanna be on camera? I gotta stand. He's the best boy. Okay, he wants down. I'm having the cats fight next to me. This is amazing. <laughs>